Well, the month-long battle over Brett Kavanaugh consumed virtually all attention in Washington, virtually all of our attention, and it distracted a lot of us from the issue of immigration. That issue has not gone away. In fact, we know more about it now than we did a month ago. Many Democratic candidates are still running on a platform of abolishing border enforcement, ending any kind of enforcement at the borders, and outright amnesty for the people already here illegally. That could be a bigger question than any of us knew. A new study by Yale University, two Yale professors, one from MIT, found that there are about 22 million illegal immigrants in the United States. That is double the conventional estimate. There could be more. Cesar Vargas is a lawyer and a former illegal immigrant, and he joins us tonight. Cesar, thanks a lot for coming on. So I think this is a, me this is a meaningful study, and it's not done by a, you know, some politically-minded group. I think it's probably done by liberals. 22 million people is a lot of people. Are you still forgiving them all citizenship? Tucker, thank you so much for having me. Happy Indigenous People's Day. Uh, before we get into the politics of the issue, Don't pull uh, the let's, let's get with those nonsense. three. Let's it's get Columbus two, three Day, points uh, on that. First, okay. uh, make, let's make sure that the researchers clearly said that this is not an assumption or implication that there's an outburst of undocumented immigrants here in the U.S. Second, okay. it's based on a very bas basic principle. They said that they take in consideration the initial population plus everyone who comes in plus everyone who leaves. This points directly to what they want to say, namely that it's a shadowy population and obviously we're not going to count everyone, so there's definitely an undercount. And three, most importantly, is simply that I'm this sorry, was this was look, a study from 1990 to, to 2016. Okay, so okay. it could have been at any on, point, either just, 22 just million, speech, 9 million, 2 million. Okay, so let's great. understand the report no, first before we be talk about the politics. Million. Stop, please. I, I, it's not even politics. I read the study. It's pretty clear they're the first people to look at this systematically, and there are far more than 11 million people in this country illegally. The largest margin in the history of presidential elections in this country, 1984, was about 17 million. So there are more illegal aliens than there are voters who made the difference in the biggest blowout in American presidential history. You're following me here with the math. This well, is definitive. So you're, I just want to know really quick if there are 22 million, 24 million, 20 million. You want to give all of them citizenship and voting rights. Are you still for that? You always oh, absolutely. No question. Look at the economy. We're doing right. pretty well. 3.7 unemployment rate, 4.2 economic growth. If we want to be able to do even better, look, if we had 22 million undocumented immigrants vote. now, we're doing pretty well economically. So I say pass to citizenship, let them pay well, taxes, sure that you and say, we will so have an even better economy. Let's just talk so about not now where we are at this moment. Slow down. We'll slow down. So they're not paying... Wait, hold on. You're conceding that they're not paying taxes now? I thought, having talked to you many times, your argument always was they're paying into the system more than they're taking out, which is I totally untrue. I said more untrue. taxes. Like we could pay more talk. taxes. Well, why would they be, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Citizens don't pay more taxes. Everybody who works pays the taxes, pays their tax rate. So you're conceding that a lot of these people, in addition to breaking our immigration law, are breaking our tax law, and they're using fake IDs. I said so that if there is that more than the original 11 million undocumented immigrants, let them pay taxes. The 11 million undocumented immigrants already, already pay taxes. taxes. I said more taxes. So if there is more Wait, well, than what we originally planned, well, on, then let's, I, let them pay more. If there is 11 okay, million, right, we assume. I don't know if I keep having you on the show, because this doesn't even make any sense at all. I just Very simple look, math. Really simple. If there's 11 million no, no. undocumented immigrants, what but there's 22, any... let, let the other right. 11 million pay taxes. No. Very simple math. I'm not saying anything complicated on this I don't this even show. know what you're saying. Your point is that illegal aliens are great. They're better than us. They pay their full tax share. Okay, you've always, met, you've always said that. You said that 20 times on my show. Absolutely. And now you're saying, well, if we, if we give them the vote, they'll pay more taxes. What? That doesn't even make sense. Here's the bottom line. I just want our viewers to understand what the agenda of lunatics like you is. And I mean that with all respect, and I like you personally. <laughs> but you're saying 22 million brand new voters in our electorate. OK, out of nowhere here illegally. Now they all get to vote there. Ninety percent of are going to vote for the Democrats. What you're saying is that one political party will have a hammer lock on national elections forever. What do you think the rest of us think about that? Who aren't well, Democrats? Like, I simply think say I simply that? say that why don't Republicans and Democrats actually compete for the vote and let people have their say? If Democrats want to want to pass immigration for it, Republicans want to pass immigration for it, then let okay. them give now the power getting, to vote and let's compete. This is what understand. democracy is all about, right, Tucker? <laughs> yeah, letting foreigners invade your country and then take over your government. That definitely sounds like democracy to me. This is our country. Caesar, this is your so country. This is our country. Have a good night. <laughs>
I hope people are freaked out by this. I am. Thank you.